So to set up the communication through the rabbit time queue, let's do one thing. Let's create a new project. So I'm just going to create a new project. On that project, I'm creating as a blank solution. So define the location. So location is here, let's say, we having the code and then we having the weekend. Define the solution names. As a solution name, it is here, let's say, then a bit MQ and mass tangent. I will use a mass tangent. I will show you the way how it can be how it can be used. Now let's add here two services. So one service I'm adding here for processing the order, and another service I'm using here for checking the inventory. Let's say the store. So what I'm doing here, I'm just adding here a new project, and that project type is here. Let's say web api application there so this is my asp.net core web api and define the project name let's say order service and post it as per the default setting here so this is the way we added here the order service simply and to initiate the communication between the microservices we need one more service so what i'm doing here i'm adding a one more service with the name inventory so this is my spinot core web api and then inventory is a service inventory service so now we have created these two services now we need to initiate the communication between them so to, to simplify the communication between the microservices through the rabbit mq okay so if you're looking for the mass transit so we having the this mass transit project and you can offer the documentation how it can be configured how it can be used so to get started with the mass transit we need to download the new get packages so we having the new get packages for mass transit mass transit aspinet core and what are the others one you are using that you need to configure over there so let me install here few new get package to include the support for mass transit so this is my browse here and here i can make search for mass transit so here you can see we having a package here mass transit just select this one and what i prefer here i prefer the package here 7.0.4 like this is the version i'm using over there you can go ahead with the latest one also i think this will work fine i don't think this it will create an issue then we having the mass transit aspinet core this is for aspinet core then we need extension for dependency injection this one and the mass transit we have decided to use with rabbit mq so install it with rabbit mq as well okay so we have downloaded this one also now let's come to the setup over there so for the setup let open here this startup class in the startup class we have been the configure services method even at the documentation label also we just they just shown the way how we can set up it with asp.net core this is the way how we can set up it we can add here add mass transit then if you are having a consumer so consumer can be added if you don't have the consumer then configure here rabbit mq then add mass transit hosted service if you have any worker you can add any worker so worker actually we have being at the subscriber label at the sender level we don't have any worker so this similar code i need to configure my microservice i'm putting in my order service in order service that code we need to put over here add the missing name space the do then thing let me install the same packages in the order service as well which install before so i'm installing the mass transit and rabbit mq so we downloaded these and this extension also these packages has been installed now now open the startup class and the same setup which i am was trying to do before i'm doing here now add mass transit and mass transit to the hosted one 
so message consumer we don't have i'm leaving it as it is uh, but for hosted service i need it okay rabbit mq i think we have not added here okay we had it so master and js will not core this one we have not added so add now you can see there is no error we added the master and it for every time so now here we can define the things at the app setting dot json so in the app setting dot json i can define a section for service bus so that we can connect with the service bus so as we define the connection for the database similar way we will define the connection with the service bus so let's define here a service bus section with uri username and password so now here i'm going to define the username and password so let me define that configuration as well that is actually still missing here because it is for in memory so we having the two option here either configure it with in memory either configure it with database so i believe in database one it is a in memory setting it's not a database setting so for database let me change this setting from in memory to different one so let me use here config it would be here config dot using rabbit mq then context then we having the configuration then we having the uri so it is uri let me create the uri here and the uri i can access from the configuration so configuration what it is it is service bus and then uri this way we added it now using the configuration let me define the host configuration dot host and do pass here uri and host setting in this way so define here the host username host dot username it would be here configuration service and username this way same we are adding here for password also so this one would be here for password password so this setting we need to define here at the sender level because i'm going i'm just going to use it as a sender the similar setting to define here for receiver end as well so inventory i uh, would be here for receiving purpose so let me add the same thing at the receiver end this is my receiver one and here we already having the added the mass transit and a spread core also we already added here same when to define the service bus and put it here this will be added but here we need to add a consumer so uh, we will add a here a consumer class where we will consume the things so i'm adding here a class for consumer let's say order consumer but just like a worker class where we will write the things so i will complete this code later on let me first complete the code at the sender level let me delete this weather forecast this is my controller that is also i'm deleting now i'm adding here a controller api controller for order so this is my api controller mt and i'm adding it for order so from the order controller we will try to place the order so for placing the order let's say i'm adding here a model let me add here a model so this is my models in models i'm defining my model name as order so let's say it is here order and now using the rabbit mq i publish and point i can do the things over there so what i'm doing here i'm just going to create here a i publish and point so this is a built in class in mass transit so we having here i publish and point so i'm using here publish and point to publish the messages over there so this is at the class level don't i don't need to make it public let's add the constructor and let's inject it i'm just going to injecting this publish and point so i'm using here underscore publish and point equal to publish and point 
this way now i can write the code here to place the order so i'm having here let's say public i action result this is the way we create the things i action result then let's say we having here create order and order model to receiving the order information so let's say what are the things i will get in the order i will do it so i'm using here let's say http post because i'm making here so what are the order i will get i will publish it to the rabbit mq so to rabbit mq i will publish it so we having here let's say publish and point and there is a method publish and this publish method is asynchronous it is not a synchronous communication it's a asynchronous communication so we need to convert our api method also into the asynchronous one so using the task i can convert it into the async this way and here let's publish the order so i'm publishing order model and let's use here await and we are not waiting for the response here just go ahead and from here return the status code as okay like everything is fine without any issue so this way i'm returning it simply so it should be the part of your order controller in order we will have what are the property you are willing to expose i'm willing to expose here order id detail price and user id that's it so these are the orders we are just going to share that's fine the sender is now ready now let's complete it at the receiving end so the receiving end i need to create here a consumer so consumer already we created with the name order consumer but if we need to inherit it from the i consumer this interface i'm using here to implement the mass transit and here let me add the model order so here also we need to add the models same model as we have been over here models for order but it would the part of the inventory service this way we added models here now it will contain a method to consume it so i think and then we having the task consume so now let's consume it so for consuming purpose we having the consume context and i'm consuming the order in this way and here we can get the message what message we have been it will come from the context so context dot message here we will get the message and here we can write the code what you want to do with this receive message so here we can write the code do we have the sufficient inventory to place this order so in the stock i will check the existence of that one but here i'm just showing you the way how this uh, the asynchronous design pattern can be asynchronous communication pattern can be implemented with the help of rabbit mq so right now i'm just doing here i'm just adding here a message i'm just going to console it console dot out then we having here right line as saying it would be here message dot detail so it's a it's a consumer okay so it is not a just like controller we having just like a worker a background service we have so it will receive it and process it and store in the database so in the startup class make sure we added this consumer also so let me add here a consumer it would be here config dot add consumer and we having here order consumer order consumer like this way so we having the order consumer and we having the rabbit mq simply over here so to check out this workflow make sure we putting the breakpoint here and we putting the breakpoint here and run both the projects here i'm just selecting as a a startup project here i'm just running my inventory service as well i'm running my order service as well now run the code to check out how the communication is happening between the order and inventory service through the rapid mq so this is my inventory service and this is my order service 
and if you're looking at the ui for rabbit mq if you're looking at here we don't have any exchange any extra exchange we don't have any queue right now so automatically it create everything when i will initiate the order so let me initiate the order this is option here try it out i'm passing your order details so let's say order detail it would be here book order you can add other property as well i'm keeping it short and let's say price is here 100 rupee user id let's say 10 so this way i'm going to place the order so using the order service i'm trying to place it click on the execute button it is coming over here this way now from here it will publish it but if it will not wait for the response you can see i'm getting here 200 is a status code so it is showing it is succeeded now it's up to the rabbit mq whether it succeeded or not so you will see it's added here a order service models for order this way and i think q is not created okay one thing actually we're missing here at the invent at the consumer label at the consumer label we added the consumer but we have not defined the exchange so exchange also we need to define over here so after the host let me define here exchange that part i missed so let me define the exchange here so it would be here configuration then receive endpoint i'm defining a receiving endpoint so i will define my queue name where message will send it and i will receive it so it it should be here so in inventory just do it so i'm adding here a queue so define here the queue name. Let's say queue name is here order queue. So I did here the queue name as order queue over here. Now let me define here. So it would be a C dot configure consumer and we having the order consumer that will consume the messages from this queue. So this is a mapping we have defined with the queue at the inventory service level. And now let's run it again. Okay, now let me send the order so it is, let's say my order details, pricing, let's say 200, user ID, let's say 100. Click on the execute, create order. And here you can see we having a order queue now, this way. And the exchange also we created here, inventory level exchange has been created. So now if you will test it, it will work fine. So it would be, let's say my order, details 101 price 100 you are ready 10 then click here continue now it is coming here directly so now if you are looking at the exchange label we having only one exchange this one this is containing the one queue messages there already because we have no read so far so why it is happening, it is coming to the consumer side immediately. As soon as message is available there. This is the way how the message is coming. You can see detail, order ID, price, user ID. You can see now the receiver will be able to read the message. So I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to consoling it. So in case of console, you will get it over there. So we able to get it now without an issue. 